Hi everyone, my name's Anne Revo and I'm a designer with Craft Show Print. Today I'd like to show you how to make this card. This is using my new concept of the paper weaving. And as you can see, it's got a nice glitter edge and it's using a five inch square image. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is go to www.craftsuprint.com slash amrevo and on the website you'll be able to find quite a few different sheets for the paper weaving. I've used the Christmas roses option. As you can see from the sheet, down one side of the sheet of the photograph showing you a step-by-step -step guide to be able to make the paper weaving images just simple photos and then if for any reason you're still having trouble please go to the forum and I shall put a few more images in the forum um, of the technique that I've used on the other side of the sheet are the two images that you're going to be using the top image has a grid on it and it's measured A through to E on the top when you cut it out, please cut out the tabs as well, both top and bottom. The bottom image has also got a grid on it, and that's a grid with numbers 1 through to 5 on it. Again, if, when you cut the image out, please cut the grid out because you'll find this easier to use for the weaving. Okay, so when you've selected your sheet, the things that you're going to need are, you want a tape runner, or double sided adhesive tape just for matting the card onto the um, the image onto the card you're going to want quite a thin double sided adhesive um, and that will become apparent as we're going through it as to what you need it for the foam pads you might want to add a little bit of a raised effect onto your card when you're doing your weaving once you've got going you might find that if you slot some of these underneath the image I'll show you as we go on but that will give you a 3D effect you're going to want a 5x5 five five piece of card that's to do your weaving on and then you're going to want some scissors now top tip here crafters I use flexible scissors flexible handle these are ideal for anybody with dexterity trouble okay now you might also want a little bit of glitter for the actual card so the first thing that we're going to do on our piece of card blank card five by five inches square we're going to put the adhesive tape along two sides the top and the right hand side as close to the edge as you can get now I've marked my card with under and on the other side I've marked it top on the top side you want double sided adhesive as well a little bit further in from the edge not too far but about half an inch in through the right hand side and the bottom this time so remember the top side has adhesive down the right hand side and the bottom and as you flip it over you have it at the top and the right hand side so after you've printed off your image and you cut it out you're going to be left with two images like this that's the bottom image and then you're going to have the top image as well now because I've actually put the A through to E on this will help with the actual weaving effect so once you've cut those out, you're going to go to your card and you're going to peel off the adhesive on the underside. So I shall do that. I know I might be going a little bit fast. So that's the adhesive off of the underside. So if you hold it underside down. You're going to take strip A and you're going to put it in the furthest corner in the, on the left hand side and fold the little tab under like so. 
so it's flush to the edge and the tab at the top has been folded under then you're going to take tab number one and you're going to put that across the top of tab A like so you're going to fold the tab on the side underneath so we've got one and A then we're going to take strip B and we're going to place that over the top of tab 1 folding the flap under and putting it on the tape at the back we're going to manipulate it just so that the design measures up on the front and then we're going to take strip 2 and we're going to lift the tab A and slot that underneath and turn the tab under and then you can see we're starting to build up that weave design if I turn that round and then you're going to go to the next to C and do the same C would go on here over and under and they'll build up on the back A, B, C, D and so on down the sides now in true Blue Peter fashion I have one that's a little bit further on just to, so you don't have to watch me do all of them but again the, there are the pictures on the sheet that show you the actual step by step so as you go along you'll end up with the tabs A, B, C, D, E now I'm holding this back to front so the camera can pick it up so they're actually at the top of your card and then like that we'll do it that way that's easier so it's A through to E and 1 to through to 5 and on the front of your image that's the weaved effect that you're going to get so once you've actually stuck all your strips on you can either trim the edges or you can fold the tabs over whichever is easiest now please don't forget you might have to manipulate your sheets a little bit just to be able to get your image to follow it doesn't have to be perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip these tabs off now also what we did do we had the actual adhesive on the underside of the image on the square now once you've got your image finished to this stage you peel off the, f uh, the back of the tape and then your image will stick down onto it at this stage you would be able to add a few of the foam pads to be able to build up the 3D effect if you want so I'm going to trim the edge off of this, um, of this image like this and as I trim down it like so I can trim down the edge and then that's ready to go on my card like so so there we go that's that now for the card I've used a five and a half by five and a half inch square card I've added glitter around the edges I've matted and laid some paper on and then I've added glitter around the edge I find the quickest way is to use the double sided adhesive tape and then I just dip the corners and the edges into glitter and the glitter will hold on to the tape so you won't use any more than you need and it'll only, it'll only stick to the places where there's tape so I've already done that so I shall turn that round now you might want to use a glue runner or some adhesive tape just to stick your image on you might have wanted to put it on before we start I'm using a simple runner for quickness so that's all we have to do I shall turn that round and just pop that on the front of the card 
like so. Measure it up. There we go. And that's the effect you can get from the paper weaving. You could highlight the image with some glitter glue or some more glitter. And as I say, the 3D effect could come from the foam pads that you've used underneath the image. So I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you join me again on Cup TV. Thank you.